special museum in Santa Ana makes learning about science a case of hands-on fun. Reporter Vanessa Pang takes us to the Discovery Science Center. <laughs> Hard to believe, but these kids are getting ready to learn about science. No chalk or pencils here. It's just hands-on educational fun. We saw some science. I, I was going to drive that Zamboni. The Zamboni uses a finely honed blade to shave the ice and condition the surface. This one is stationed at the Discovery Science Center. To me, what's really special about it is it's taking science and math and using hockey to demonstrate the principles. This is about teaching and education and basic principles that kids need to learn as they're growing up. This is a hurricane simulator. It puts kids in the eye of the storm. And that's what the Discovery Center is all about, getting kids to learn about science through interactive exhibits. It's really planting that seed of knowledge and interest in science so they carry that through a possible career someday. And the kids agree. I really like it because it makes like learning fun and so it's like not hard to learn. Yeah and it's easier to understand things when it's hands-on. School children are counting down the months of sea turtle migration. Those small black dots represent their daily movement. The animated globe at the Planetary Research Station exhibit displays over 500 data sets some in real time. You could look at a number and maybe understand it in a textbook. When you see it on a six-foot globe at one time, you can see the entire Earth's perspective. That really brings learning to life and really gives a hands-on viewpoint. Bubble scientist Fan Yang puts on a show that blows kids away during the center's annual bubble fest. A lot of science is involved in the show, so that's why I call it Bubble Scientist. Some exhibits are seasonal and come and go, so there's always something new at the Discovery Science Center. This is Vanessa Pang reporting.